Yo, what up, Brass? It's the top guppy himself, aka the hentai goto himself, guppy boy 9000. And today I am back at y'all with another video review, but this time it's not showing off a figure. We are going to be talking about boom. The snail shell jacket that came off of Ami Ami that's meant for the snail shell figures. On top of that, we're also going to be going into um a couple of other things that y'all have been asking me, you know, about my collections and certain stuff like, yo, Guppy, where do you get your 112 scale cloth clothing from? Such as, boom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He ain't finished. He ain't finished. He ain't finished. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? And boom. So, yes. I've been, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions asking me where I get my 112 scale cloth clothing. So, we're going to be taking a dive into that with this video today. And, and I'm going to let this, I'm going to let this be known for all the new viewers. Yes, the freaking fire alarm is going off and it's not because I'm too lazy to fucking change it. The reason why it's going off is because my ceiling is so high up and the only way I can change it is if I get a ladder and go up there. The only thing about it is I don't have a ladder. And on top of that, I'm not allowed by my apartment complex to touch that fire alarm. They have to come do it. Because if I end up breaking the fire alarm or something like misfunctions, I have to pay for it. And I'm not doing that shit. So, that being said, that answers your question about the fucking fire alarm. And to everybody let me know. So, with that being said, getting back into the fucking review, we're going to talk about, boom, this baby right here. <clears throat> so... For those of y'all that pre-ordered this figure right here and bought this figure off of Ami Ami or Amazon JP or Hobby Link, I think, I think, was she on Hobby, Hobby Link Japan and, and Hobby Ginky and places like that? I'm not sure, but okay. If you bought this figure right here, like y'all would have known or you would have seen that and which really I ain't finna lie, I'm not finna cap and act like I knew about it because I didn't see the shit till last minute. I now see this jacket right here. I automatically thought that it came with her automatically, but no, this right here is something you had to purchase like exclusively through Ami Ami to like through their website to go with this figure. This is the cloth coat. Uh the fluorescent yellow green um, coat that they literally specifically, well, they didn't really make it for her. They made it for all their characters, but it's advertised with her and whoever the girl is with the site. So I'm not going to lie to y'all. This right here is a pretty cool jacket. And as y'all can see, I got two of them because I got two of her. So my second one should be on, should be here next week or around that time. Now, Opening this bad boy up, I'm going to move them out the way. Opening this bad boy up, try not to hit uh, my fucking, um, whatchamacallit, my ring light. So, as y'all can see, it comes in a little square bag, a little baggy, specifically designed for the GM project, snail shell figures, and don't know what any of this says. And it's automatically by Ami Ami. You can only get this from Ami Ami. So if you did not buy this off of Ami Ami and it sold out, then you missed out. Sad to say. Which I'm not even gonna lie, they did get some more in stock. Which I did go back and buy those, uh, which is how I got these. I ain't even a lot of y'all. So they did get some back in stock, but those instantly sold back out. So if if y'all unless they got it back up on Ami Ami, if you didn't get the the restock and you missed out, um, 
I guess you just completely missed out there. Now you're because you're not gonna get this. This is like this is literally exclusive through Ami Ami. You're not gonna get this like through any other site. Like, and that's in, in that conversation. Now, as you can see, um, I'm gonna move this out the way because I got enough light. Now, as you can see, this right here is a little is actually a pretty nifty looking jacket. Now, it has an actual zipper on it. I don't know if y'all can see that. It has an actual zipper on it. It has a little like a imprint of a of a smiley face, anime girl face with the little bunny ears and the hair on that right there. Then it has that on the back. And then it has number one on the side. So I'm, I'm assuming this is meant for the, the wolf girl, which was their first uh, release, which apparently snail shell does have other cloth cloth uh, clothing that they've done released in the past. And they got more cloth clothing coming out. That's currently on Ami Ami that you can go pre-order right now. Like I got two. They got like two purple uh, jackets, two purple jackets on pre-order right now. I got two of those on pre-order and they got a cloth cape. So as we're speaking, when you watch this video, go to Ami Ami, pre-order those because once those sell out, they are gone. If they're not already, uh, if the orders aren't closed. But as you can see, it has a little zipper right here, which try to get that focus. You can see it right there. You can unzip the jacket. It comes with this right here, like a little paper hanger. And I dropped it and I, oh my God, I hit the fucking camera. But like I said, this is Guppy Boy channel. We do everything raw. So there goes a the little that goes snail shell made in China and you get your jacket, which boom, I'm not going to put this on a figure because you want to know why I have to. We already got this on figure. So for those of y'all that was wondering where I got this jacket from, there you go. I got it from Ami Ami. And on top of that, now that we got that out the way. This jacket does fit on any female figure that you may have in your collection it fits on uh just to show y'all and excuse my heavy breathing like i breathe heavy when i when i talk a lot sorry about that I'm trying to catch my breath as i speak and then make sure i know what i say before i speak so i don't have to start the video over so get her hands on show y'all this i'm not gonna try and zip this fucking jacket up because it's you really gotta focus <laughs> on getting you know, when you try to get it zipped up but as you can see it fits her perfectly boom on top of that with the little hoods right here there's a um there's a wire in the hood, like a bendy wire that literally bends. I don't know if y'all can see that any kind of way so you can maneuver the, the jacket to have it sit down, like say flush like that. Or so you could put it up over her head and have it sit up on her head like this. So it's a, it's a actually pretty cool jacket. Like they really put a lot of effort into this and the fact that they're making more cloth clothing. Like I'm not I'm not even a lot of y'all yo ace. Hey, if Snail Shell keeps this up man, look, the figures are already good and the fact that they're giving us cloth clothing on top of that to put with the figures. That's a win-win. This goes back to what I've been saying like hey yo SH Figure Arts and Figma aren't the only great anime companies out there, man. There's a lot of great anime companies out there that's doing great things that SH Figure Arts and Figma have not done yet or not, and not going to do. Well, have done and probably and have failed at. But we're not going to just count Figma out the way because Figma, 
as you know, since we're talking about clothing, some of y'all ask me, yo, Guppy, where do you get your 112 scale clothing for, uh, from? For, yo, where did you get your 112 scale uh, clothing from? For those of y'all that are like into kick bashing your own figures and dressing them up, you can go to eBay and buy from GPS Lot. He's a very great, and I've said this before, he's a very great. Like he's he, he's he's great at his at his craft when it comes to making like because I think he makes it all himself. He has his own little store on eBay where he makes certain clothes for like certain types of figures. Sad to say that mainly a lot of them are really for Marvel Eleven, uh, Mar Marvel Legends, and Mezco. So if uh, if you don't really collect Marvel Legends and Mezco all that much, the clothes are going to be a little bit too big for like, say, a like, say, a guy like my boy Kota here or her. You're going to have to kind of do like a little bit of mod, like modifying. But he does have a couple of female clothing, but he doesn't have enough. Like a lot of his stuff is really mainly like to fit male figures. Mainly buff male figures, like me, like I said, Mezco and Marvel Legends. But his clothing is still very good. Like he's still very good. Like I don't really know nobody else who's really just making one twelve scale clothing like this. Like this shirt right here that I got, this Supreme shirt, that's from GPS Lot. So anybody that's looking for clothing from like to put on your figures, go to GPS Lot on eBay. And his like his, anything you want. He has anything. He has tech wear. He has suits like like actual like suits for like mafia members. If you want to do stuff like that, he has uh he has ninja outfits. He has samurai outfits. He has superhero outfits. He has all of that stuff. He has capes. That's really that's really what he's known for. He's known for making his capes for um like Batman and Superman characters. And they all look phenomenal. So anything you want, you can go to the GPS lot. Now, me catching my breath. Anything that you want outside of GPS lot. Like say moving this back, bringing her forward. Everything that is on her that is on Naname right here. Naname Misuki, my OC character that I created. Everything on her, except for the green jacket, is made specifically for 112 scale fights and bodies. And these clothes are pretty much, you're pretty much going to have to buy these off of um, either eBay or AliExpress. And it's all coming straight from China, which means you're probably going to have to wait depending on the shipping or who you buy it from, you may have to wait like at least a good three to four weeks, maybe half of a month. Well, you're going to wait half of a fucking month. And that's, that's literally what three to four weeks is. So with that being said, that's where I get my 112 scale, my 112 scale clothing from. But on top of that, since we're at since we're talking about this, another place where you can get your 112 scale clothing from the greatest anime company of all time. As I said, the greatest anime company of all time. Figma is getting into doing their own cloth clothing, which that's where this dress came from. They're getting into doing and on top of that, boom, this right here. If you are into collecting figmas, a lot of the, the characters and, uh, and stuff that they're doing now, they're into making their own cloth clothing and they're and it's beyond great. I got a couple of like figma figures with cloth clothes like they're doing cloth skirts, cloth jackets, cloth dresses. And I think on one figure, they they're literally finna get into doing cloth pants like ba like baggy, like medieval fucking pants from like certain fantasy animes which is 
which is weird because I'm, I'm ready to see how that all turns out. So, yes, Figma is literally getting in to doing their own cloth clothing. And they're and where I see them doing it like most heavily at is on some of their original characters, like their Yuki figure with the tech wear, uh, the moto, the, the moto code that came out like the girl with the with the um sword and the long dress. The um, I can't think of her name. The other girl who had the hoodie with the red dress and the red shoes, they they have a a good line of figures that they are putting it like putting these up. Uh, Emily, that's her name. So they have like a good line of figures, like characters of their own original characters that they are putting like their own cloth clothing on. So it's like if you're looking for anything like like cloth clothing wise, you're going to have to get into Figma. If you don't want to buy from GPS Live because the, the clothes are too big and they don't fit your, your characters how you want, you're either going to have to buy, like, these from China, which I'm not even going to lie to you, like, okay. Like, China, depending on um what kind of figure it is, these clothes are going to stain, they'll, they'll stain the plastic, like these black, the black shirt, the black pants. Certain figures, they'll leave stain marks on them. So, so with that being said, if you don't want to buy like no clothes from China, that's going to stain your figures or leave stain marks on your figures, which honestly, I ain't had no problems with, with these clothes. I think, I think, uh, cause these, some of these 112 scale clothes are specifically made by TB League Fison. So. I think TB League is like done gotten better at it. They're not trying to they whatever it is they they use that that stains the figures. They don't kind of got out of it because this is like a second or third like a pair of black like black shirt and pants that I bought from them, and they haven't left like not no stains on any of my figures. So it might have just been like the early releases of their clothes that might have been doing that. So, but if but either way, if you don't want to take the risk with that and have those stain your figures, like the only thing I can, and you don't want to just like do like GPS lot. The only thing I can pretty much recommend y'all do is either buy Figma figures and take the clothes off of those characters and put them on your figure. Or I guess kind of look around uh, more on eBay. And with that being said, that's pretty much like all I can pretty much recommend you. There aren't there aren't really there aren't really pretty much any other places that make like one twelve scale clothing. But there's a lot of figure companies that are starting to do so. Like I said, Snail Shell, they are starting to like do like cloth jackets. Figma's doing their own thing with their cloth clothing, and you still gonna have like TB League. Fison, like Ali, like the stuff from China that's going to give you certain things. And you still got GPS lot. But with that being said, for those of y'all that's been asking where I get all my cloth clothing from, that's where I get them from. And with that also being said, I am going to end this video because I got another video to do. And for those of y'all that's ready, because I'm pretty sure y'all follow your boy on Instagram. <laughs> y'all already know. Y'all already know. This review is coming next. So with this video being uh, finna be ended, I'm finna get into doing that. So I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.